So what happens, the scripture says, an angel spoke to Joseph in a dream. And then Joseph being raised from sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him. Some people can't hear from God because they don't know how to sleep alone. <laughs> you got too many people in your dreams. Joseph is sleeping alone. <laughs> and as the angel had bidden him, he took him his wife. And knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called his name Jesus. So now she was four months pregnant. It takes nine months to have the child. She's, she's walking with Jesus. He hasn't consummated the marriage. He, the scripture says he did not know her. That's a euphemism for being intimate. Till she had brought forth her firstborn son. And he called his name Jesus, he's not little Joe, <laughs> JJ, Joseph Jesus, or something like that. He has nothing to do. The angel told him what to name him. Now, you can say what you want to say, but it's hard to hear God when you ain't in it at all. And you got to take care of it. It ain't his child. He hadn't been with his wife. And he don't get his name put on the child he's got to feed and raise. Then he got to worry about y'all talking. Now, if they just got married, she already... Wait a minute now. Something happened before they got married. Huh? He's supposed to be just. Uh-huh. Yeah, he just the lion. That's what he's doing. He... They've already... The rumor's already out on him. Y'all looking at me funny. What if your name was Hosea or Hoshea and God told you to go marry a prostitute? Look at y'all. The devil is a lie. See, it wouldn't be the devil. It wouldn't even be the... See, it's hard to hear God when God says something you don't want to hear. It's hard. Y'all ain't going to pray with me today. It's hard to hear God when he says something you don't want to hear. Something simple like, go and tell her you're sorry. You just don't want to receive that. So you want to... But if he said, go tell that brother you didn't mean it and you want to get it right. You don't hear that. You just sit there. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Hey, hey. No, get up and shut up. See, it's hard to hear God when you got to go get stuff right. That's why some people sit in church full of poison. Because you can't hear God. You choose not to translate what's been transferred. One of the most profound scriptures in the Bible and the least used one is if you have an art with your brother, leave your gift on the altar and go to your brother, go to your sister and be reconciled that your prayer be not hindered. But you'd rather have your prayer hindered than your pride shrunk. 